spent enough money. Holy smokes with the 32 and whatnot. Well guys, another day at the sale. Let's see what you can find. Oh man, there's so much stuff here, it's crazy. This little car, I tried this before. Sounds like a sledgehammer banging when you start it. Oh, here's something. Bar stools for the barbecue. <gasps> Ooh. I don't know, they any good? Well, we got one. Looks decent. They're not horrible. This one's all bent. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, it's falling apart. I don't know. I could get them and put them around the bar. Maybe the bar down in the barn. Even if I just use four or five of them. Yeah, I think I'll bid on those. This is kind of neat. Old stove. I could put that on my on my deck outside just for decoration. Ooh, ooh it comes complete with mouse nest. Nice. It's got the stands, got everything. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see what this goes for. I could go on my patio at the barbecue. I don't see why not. Of course, the, the cushions aren't good, you know? Because cushions, if you have to bring them in every day, and these are pretty ugly. I Maybe mean, the pressure washer could clean them up, but I don't know. We'll see. There we go. I have a message into the Empress to see what I should bid on this thing. It's a three-piece settee and wicker. <laughs> it's not bad. It's better than the ones we got. I don't know. We'll have to bid on that, too, I think. I might just bid on these shovels and stuff. That's a nice looking set. It looks all new. Post hole digger. I know. I don't really want to do that kind of work, but sometimes I have to. Looks like a fleet brought in some trucks. There's both of them here. They're eco boosters and they're about 160 or 70,000 miles. Let's see if we can hear it. I think this one ran. Oh, this one doesn't run. Interior is not horrible on this one. The other one's a little rattier. Well, let's go take a look at it. We'll start it up and see what it sounds like. So it's got 189,000, almost 190 basically. It's not rotten. I mean, it's, it's not a rusty truck. I guess if I wanted to put a motor in it, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea. But it is beat up. Tailgate's beat up and it was used heavy. I looked underneath it before and it didn't look too bad as far as rust. Ah, the bottoms of the doors seem, well, they're a little rusty, getting a little rusty here, but not bad, just the paint's gone. Rocker seems solid. I guess these Fords, they like to rot back here in the back corner. But this seems to be okay. Oh, but I'm sure they're just cutting these loose. I don't know, they'll go cheap. I'm going to pop the hood just so I can get an eyeball on this EcoBoost here. So it's a 3.5 liter EcoBooster. I don't know if these are intercooled too or what. I know they're turbocharged. Yeah, it looks like an intercooler on front, doesn't it? I don't know. I can't see it. Where's the turbo? Down there, up top. Never monkeyed with one of these things. I don't think I want to start now. What do you think? Yeah, but it's EcoBoost. Probably means more trouble. <laughs> I was afraid of that myself. I think it's turbochargers. More trouble. Turbochargers are great on diesels, but I don't know about on gas engines. But, you know, with the computer controls and everything, they kind of, you know, keep them under control more. But, well, it does have an intercooler. It's down here. And I guess that's where it lives down there. All right, so, so far I bought a couple small items. I bought a flat top grill for 190 bucks. It looks like new, basically. It just needs a cleaning. And the other thing I bought was some, a wicker set for $17. So the Empress is happy with me right now because we gave 250 for the last one. And it's not in bad shape. It's really, actually, it's nicer than the one we got now. So I'm gonna wander around and see what else I can see.
my tractor. Oh my god, I might just buy this one. It's got the tractor tires I want. The tractor tires are 200 bucks. So I can get it cheaper than that. I'm gonna. gonna see what happens with that. Holy cow. Oh yeah, let's see. Looks newish. Nice. Battery looks new. No hold down. That's a standard operating procedure. It's kind of rusty. Let's see? Ooh, comes with tools. Nice. Let's see. Let's see if it starts. Step on the clutch. No start condition. So, we have a no start condition. That might make it go cheap. We'll see. Now we got the Ford Model A car with a title. It's a 1928 right there. there now it turns over but doesn't run. 10,000. I got 5250, 5500. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 6,000, 6,000, now 6,000, 6,000, now 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 6,000, Okay. Now sixty two, sixty two, sixty two, Bomb, 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 seven thousand dollars, seventy one hundred dollars. Bomb, bomb, bomb. So on the floor, seven thousand dollars. Three sixty nine. Three sixty nine. I think it's one of those public transportation buses. Oh, look at that. I wonder if it'll start up. The AC works. That'd be nice. Yep, bus. I'll hold out. I don't know what you're gonna see at the sale. Oh, it's right next to the truck. I'm gonna buy. This time I'm buying it. I don't care what anybody says, unless they say too much money. So. There it is, just waiting for me to wait for the truck to come up. So, truck's down there. This is here. Probably be another hour. All right, in my never ending hunt for a car for Bill, let's take a look at this thing. Six Nissan Ultima. Now, well, the unders of the doors don't look bad, do they? No, they don't. This one doesn't. And that's the passenger side, which usually gets worse looks clean. I don't know what it's like underneath. Boy, it's out here in the mud. That busted rocker thing here, but that shouldn't bother too much. A little bit of rust starting there. Back door is locked, but we got rust here. Boy, it's just hard. It's hard to find something. In Northeast PA, it's hard to find something not rusty. Well, this side don't look too bad. And then have the rust under the lip on this side. And this door, yep, clean. Mm. Well, it don't smell bad. That's good. It's cleaned up. Ooh, nice and black. Yeah, it's like a good old crude oil. I don't know the thing deal on these cars, what they do. Yeah, we're low on water. That ain't good. Overflow. Yep. Well, there's water in there. So I don't know. I don't know why there's no water in the radiator. Yeah, we're getting corrosion up here a little bit, but nothing major. Mm. There we go. Looks good. See, yep, yep. Does not smell burnt. As far as I know, these are a good little car. Okay. 135 on the clock. It started a little weird. 
I don't know what the deal is there. Sounds a little clacky. I, no, but I'd say there's a dead cylinder or something. This does not run right. I don't know what the deal is, but there's something else that service engine soon. Which means if I had my code reader, I probably could see a code or something. Okay, so this thing sounds like a dead cylinder. Yeah, I don't trust it. So it's another one I gotta knock off the list. Now if I put this in gear, it feels a little jerky. This guy's decided to really check out that lawnmower. I'm stepping on the gas, power braking it in reverse, I don't have enough power to do nothing. Now I got the service engine light flashing. Let's try that in forward. Definitely a, well the Altima's got a dead cylinder. Hey, say it guys, but this is a no-go. I think it's a dead cylinder in this car, the way it runs. Should have looked at that before I even looked at the rust. Day at the sale is, it's almost as good as the day fishing. Maybe not quite as good, but pretty close. So anyway, I hear them down there auctioning and they're getting up close. They're coming up the row. They're gonna get close to the truck I wanna bid on. That's where I gotta go next. We got this 2014 Ford E450 Econoline Super Duty bus. He drove it here, he drove it to Iowa, Bobby said, there you go. What about I get on there, guys? What about I get? 10 grand, 10, 10, it's got the really expensive handicap accessible thing in the back too. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 75, 75, 75, 75, 75, 5,000, 5. I got two, three, 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 so, going to Fullcroft PA for $3,000, 5433. No idea where that is. Okay, lot 4740. This truck doesn't run, needs engine work. Take it as it is. There you go. What do you think about that, John? There we go. I think it's great. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to get on there? 5,000. I mean, it's a pretty looking truck. It's a shame. 5,000. I got 1,000. 1,500. Let's go from there. 15. 15. 2 grand. 2 grand. 2,000. 25. 5, 5. 25. 3 grand. 3,000. 3,500. 3 grand. 3,000. 3,000. How about 2,750? 2,750. 2,750. 2,750. 2,500. 2,750. 2,750. Going good home. So uh, 2750. I didn't say sold yet, John. 3000. 3000. Ever the out, ever never 3000. Ever the out, ever 3250. Ever 3250. Ever never 30. 31. 32. 2. 2. You know he's done. 32. Ever 32. I'll do 32. 32. 33. Ever 33. And never never 33. Ever 33. And never never 33. Ever 33. Sold you right, John. 3200. Sorry about that. That happens every now and then. It does happen. 222. Or 228. Good sports all around. You'll get her fixed up. Lot four seven four one's this next one. Well, this time I went a lot further on that truck. Two thousand three. I had it. It um, seemed like I had it at uh, twenty five, and I was happy. But now we're up to thirty two. <sighs> Who knows, man? You got to buy stuff. You buy it. Now we got a tow behind log splitter. Lot number five three six six. Right over there now, I got one ninety two hundred dollars, two and a quarter, two and a quarter, two hundred and two twenty five, two hundred and eight, twenty five, twenty five, two hundred and eight, twenty five, twenty five, two hundred and eight, twenty five, two fifty, two fifty, two seventy five, five, two fifty, two seventy five, now three, three hundred, now three, 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 now three
I just spent four thousand dollars at this sale. <laughs> I don't think I bought anything. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> you know what goes wrong with these things? Mm -hmm. Carburetor, and that gas stinks terrible. Yeah, it does. And it spins over. It should go cheap because nobody's gonna hear it run. But it's another nice sunny day at the sale here in Northeast PA. I'm enjoying it. There's the mower. The mower is there. And the truck is there. So we'll see what happens. Should be all over the switcher. Tow behind mower. It's in good shape. No doubt about that. Has compression. Good to go. 160, 170. In bun, 60, bun, 70. Yeah. 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, yeah. Now 300, and 30 to the 30 to the 3 and a quarter, 325, fine, fine, 3 and a quarter, 325, no, no, 3 and a quarter, 325, fine, fine, 3 and a quarter, 325. Sold 300. Oh, that's a nice little right, piece right there. Two. Oh, well, worth every penny. Well, sales over for me. I have had enough for one day. <laughs> it's been a long one. It's about, uh, I don't know, it's about 13 hour tour. I gotta dig up a motor for that truck. 5.4. Uh, I did hook the jumper cables up. The codes were cleared. No surprise there. But um, eh, it's got 169,000 on it. That's pretty much when the 5.4 decided to quit. So yeah, and I'm getting in the old Jeep that I bought at the sale in the fall. 217,000 miles on it. Yeah. I, what did I give for this? 2,700. I thought I gave too much, but I don't know. I'm driving it. That's a good thing. Over and out. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Like, share, subscribe, all that stuff.